In this video, I will show you how to stop hitting fat chip shots and how to get rid of the scoop. And we're starting right now. Hello and welcome to a new video. My name is Christoph Bausek and I am a PGA professional from Austria in the heart of Europe. If you love golf and want to improve your game, then start that by subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell and you'll be on your way. Have you ever done this kind of chip shot? Many times when you hit bad chip shots, it's because you are scooping your wrists. Well, what, that, what does that mean? Okay, it means if you have your backswing here, it means that the right hand goes in this way and actually it causes a lot of trouble because you start hitting the ground in front of the ball. You start hitting the ball fat, shanking it, topping it. Basically you do everything except hitting a good shot with that move. So you don't want to do that. The funny thing though is that most professional golfers don't have their wrist still. What they actually are doing is they have a really slight movement actually in this kind of fashion. So they're not going through the ball like this. As you would think, there's still a bit of rotation here. But what do amateur golfers do differently? They do it way too early. They do it about here already. And professional golfers start doing that in the impact zone, more or less. And they don't do it as much. So what can we do about this? I will offer you a couple of ideas and let me know down below in the comments which one worked for you actually. Well, first of all, I want you to have a look at the golf grip. Um, if you have a grip, normally the left hand is on top, the right hand is below the left, and that creates, a, we call it a force couple. You can see that the hands are working in this kind of fashion, and the more the hands are split away from each other, the more it can work in this way. If I put the right hand, let's say, above the left hand, or on top of the left hand, you can see now nothing happens. Why? Because the right hand doesn't have any power to push. So what do I mean? I want you to chip like this in the future. No, I'm joking, don't do that. Um, what I want you to do is to actually have a look at your grip because most amateur golfers have a lot of space between the left and the right hand when they hit chip shots. Now I'm barely covering the nail of my thumb, but I could go all the way up here and covering the whole th thumb like this. And if you want to try out something, you could take a second finger and overlap it over your left hand. And if you do that, and keep your hands closer together, it makes normally the couple more quiet and you won't get as much torque in this direction and you will not chunk as many chips. I hope. Okay, let's talk about setup and ball position. Well, I'm a fan of a ball position right in the center of the stands. I know there are teachers out there who teach the ball to play the ball from the right foot. I know there are teachers out there who like to play the ball more from the left foot, but in my opinion, it's the easiest way to just hit it from the center stance. Why don't I want it from the right side? If you do that, you also have to put the club in more shafting like this. And you will see the leading edge will come down a bit more. And you're in danger then to chunk the ground. And that's the last thing you want. You want to use the bounce down here, so best would be to have the ball, as I said, in the center of your stance, or maybe one ball width further to the left is acceptable too. But if you do that and have a very slight shaft lean to the left, you're on your way to hitting a good shot. There's another thing you want to consider when you take your setup, and that's how you stand at the ball. Many amateur golfers have a lot of right tilt, meaning that the spine is leaning excessively to the right. If you look at professional golfers, you will see that their spine is more or less straight and the shoulders are more or less level. How do I do that? Well, the best way you can do that is actually to have a look at the ball from the other side, from the left side, 
And normally that gets your pressure more on your left foot and gets your spine in a much, much better position. And if you stay here, you're really fine and you're gonna hit great shots, I hope. I got another tip for you, okay. I went to a workshop this year to see touring coach Scott Cox and he showed me this one here. He called it the alligator hands, which means like you put the elbows on your stomach here. Now it looks like you have alligator hands. Take your golf club and what you do is you try to keep your elbows rested against the body while you do your chip. The reason this is good for it stops internal rotation of the right shoulder. What does that mean? Okay, if I straighten my arm like this, or I move my arm out in this fashion, this is called an internal rotation of the shoulder. And many, many times when you scoop the ball like this, this is exactly what's happening. When putting your arms here on the stomach, creating alligator hands, and you keep the elbow there, it's nearly impossible to get this right elbow out and away, and you're gonna improve your chipping dramatically, I hope. Okay, I have another one for you. Many amateur golfers don't grip it hard enough. If you hold the club very light, like you are grabbing a little bird and you don't want to hurt it, see what happens again, we get this Force couple again, it's moving this way. But if I get some power into the grip, I, I hold it a little stronger. Now my wrist a little bit more firm. And actually I can feel like I have to use my body a little bit more up here. So maybe you want to try that. I hope that helps. Okay, this is the last one. If you can't do it now, I don't know what to do. Okay, many amateur golfers when they have their follow through, the chip shots, they go way too high up here. I think that's an approach of trying to get the ball a little bit into the air, which doesn't make any sense because you're basically using the loft of the club to get the ball airborne. So it probably, probably would be enough if you just have a backswing and a short follow through. If you try to have a too long follow through like this, you will start to get a little bit uncoordinated and will struggle to hit the golf ball the way you want to do it. So let's recap. I want to keep my hands close together, grip them a little bit firmer, have the ball in the center of my stance looking at the ball from the left side and now having a backswing where I stop about here and I hit it so perfect and I hope you will do it too. And please let me know down below in the comments. I'm pretty sure you'll learn some interesting things in this video. And if you want to continue learning, then do this by watching this video, please. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.